Hello and welcome to the All Flyers. A recent popular video we did was titled Dornier 335, Brilliant but Too Little, Too Late. This Dornier was Germany's fastest piston engine fighter in World War II. The Dornier push-pull engine configuration developed propulsion from the front Daimler-Benz engine and tractive force from the rear. Minimal net torque gave the pilot good control and if either engine failed, there would be none of the issues common to failure in an aircraft where there is an engine on each wing. The two centerline engines also have less frontal area and so less drag than their conventional twins. The question is, if this design was so successful, why wasn't the design more common in latter years? Pusher aircraft were common in World War I. Pushers have excellent forward visibility, ideal for mounting a gun. With no engine in front of him, the pilot avoided castor oil being blown into his face, a common problem at that time. Conventional fighters of that time had to mount their forward firing guns above the propeller arc or clad the propeller in metal so that bullets would deflect. Then, in 1915, along comes the Fokker Eindecker fighters, which were fitted with gun synchronizer gears so that bullets fired intermittently, avoiding the propeller. The English had the push-pull Airco DH2 and Royal Aircraft Factory FE2, the Vickers FB5 and FB26, the French, the Brigier M5, and the Germans had their Otto C1, Ago C1, Fokker K1, Gotha GV heavy bomber, and the Simons Schuckert DR1 triplane fighter. Post World War I, there has been the short tandem twin and the Caproni CA1, which had two wing mounted tractor propellers and one centre mounted pusher propeller. Many of Claude Dornier's flying boats used variations of the tandem push-pull engine layout, including the 1922 Dornier Wall, the 1938 Dornier DO26, and the massive 1929 Dornier DOX, which had 12 engines driving six tractors and six pushers. Imagine that. A number of Farmans and Fokkers also had push-pull engine installations, such as the Farman F121, Jabiru, and Fokker F32. In push-pull arrangements, the rear engine operates in the disturbed air from the forward engine, reducing its efficiency to about 85% of the forward engine's power. The rear engine can interfere with the aircraft's rotation during takeoff if installed in the tail, the danger being propeller strike. This is why push-pulls are more common on seaplanes where this is not so much of a concern. Despite its advantages, push-pull configurations are rare in military aircraft. In addition to the problems noted for civil aircraft, the increased risk to the pilot in the case of a crash or the need to parachute from the aircraft poses problems. During a crash, the rear engine may crush the pilot and if bailing out the pilot is in danger of hitting the propeller. The German Dornier DO-335 featured explosive charges to jettison the rear propeller and dorsal tail fin, a manually jettisonable main canopy as well as an injection seat. Between the wars, most push-pull aircraft were flying boats, of which the Dornier Wall was probably the most numerous, while a number of heavy bombers such as the Farman F-220 used engines mounted in push-pull pairs under the wings. One of the last military aircraft to use the configuration was the American Cessna 02, which was used for forward air control during the Vietnam War. Dornier flying boats have engines mounted above the wings. The Rutan Defiant and Voyager Canard designs have shorter fuselages than usual. Twin boomers such as the Cessna Skymaster and Adam A500 have the aircraft's tail suspended via twin booms behind the pusher propeller. In contrast, both World War II era Dornier DO-335 and the early 1960s design Monnet M360 Jupiter experimental private plane 
had their pusher propeller behind the tail. Cessna's popular 336 and 337 Skymaster ended in 1982 after 2,993 were produced. Here are 62 examples of twin-engine push-pull aircraft. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe and notify bell, and this will encourage more similar content.